as and shine. It's a big day. It's time for you to participate in your first time. I'll be guiding you from a distance and giving out some tips as you go. Are you ready to take on the elements? <laughs> Are you ready to take on the elements, Tago? I am. I can hear the wind. <laughs> the, the elements <laughs> this seem yeah, rough. I <laughs> might need to turn it down a little bit. Okay, okay enter. Then. Let's get started, shall we? Would you mind stepping out of your cabin and taking in that fresh scent of nature? Okay. Good. Taking in that fresh scent of nature. Of should be some tracks nearby. Walk around a little, you should be able to find some. Okay. So we gotta find some tracks. Okay, yeah. first off, this game looks ridiculously nice. There's a little vehicle over there. I see that. I don't remember them saying anything about a vehicle. It's like a little gremlin car. Yeah. Remember the gremlins? <laughs> the cars, the vehicles? Oh. It does. Like the old uh, the old Christmas car. Are you at the uh, are you at the thing we gotta go to? The tracks, yep. Your first track. Now. He just yelled at me. He's like, there you go. Okay, so analyze the track. White tail. A classic. Okay, so we know it's a white tail. We don't have a license or a weapon for it yet. Would you mind marking this location on your map and then returning to the cabin? I'll get to the right the location on your map. When you get there. Oh, okay, so we gotta get licenses for this. Mark the track location on your map, press M, and then press enter to mark the location. Okay, so enter, and then whitetail. There oh. we go. You are leaving the hunting area, turn back. I wanna look at the vehicle, I wanna look at all the cool <laughs> stuff. Okay, I think you're ready to go hunt that whitetail now. Oh wait, before you head out, I got you a little surprise. <laughs> wait. Oh! <gasps> It's your very own hunting beagle. Why don't you go ahead and give the dog a name? Gizmo. It's called Gizmo. <laughs> you already named it. <laughs> it's funny. I named mine just. Uh, what are you calling him? Gus. <laughs> Gus and Gizmo. Gus and Gizmo. <gasps> Let's get back to those tracks. Check your map. Dude, look at him. The marker you placed. Okay, check the map. I'm, I'm not paying attention to anything he said. No, that's it. They've made a massive mistake by putting a dog like this early on in the game. Because I'm not going to pay anything attention, any attention to the tutorial now. My mind's just gone into mush. Right, return to the tracks. Come on, Gizmo! Where's he gone? It's anim animations are so good, too. Look at his tail. It's like... Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I'm so happy that we get a dog. That's the only trade-off. So, we should let everybody at home know. Right now, we're playing single player. Because that's all the game currently has. I don't actually know if the game is going to support multiplayer, but me go. and Taco are playing side by side in this video, so you guys can understand what's going on. And you should praise them for doing a good job. So, uh, why Gizmo? Gremlins! Gizmo! <laughs> you went straight up to <laughs> the gremlin. <gasps> oh, you can praise the dog! Commands. Okay, so it's a wheel. You can give him a little thumbs up. You can instruct them to follow I want to pet him. From this track. A thumbs up. I know, right? Good job. Like, no he's looking at you. He's like, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> Give it a try. Good dog. Oh, wait. You can if you get close to him. You can pet him. Okay, so hold C and select the track command while looking at a track. And have the dog follow its trail. <gasps> right, okay. So, C. Go. Go on, Gizmo. Go. Go do your thing. Oh, he's smelling. Okay. Keep following this trail for a bit. Oh, he's going after him. Into something eventually. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's all you're going to hear from me during this video. I apologize <laughs> in advance here to everybody watching the video. If you don't know, I'm a massive dog person. I really am. I, I love every and all types of dogs. And the fact that we finally get a dog in a game like this, <laughs> this is it for me. I'm in my element. Yeah, he, he becomes invisible. He's hard to see. He's not, grass. he's not. Yeah, he's, he's just. He's just a couple of inches underneath the grass. Where's he gone? Oh, he has a little him. icon that appears when he gets far enough. Hunting can be a slow game. You need to have nerves of steel and an incredible amount of patience. Oh yeah. If you keep following the tracks, though, you're bound to run into an animal eventually. So far, dog animations, ten out of ten. Yeah. Uh, the really, little tail. really clean. So good. 
I want them. I want them in real life. What's this rifle that we've got? And what's the scope? That scope looks amazing. The scope does look good. Right, have you come up on the stand yet? I can see it. I'm coming over the hill right now. Right, Gizmo's gone down to the left. But I'm going to go and check out the stand. Okay. Yep, now all same. you have to do is climb into it. Okay, around this way and enter. There you go. Now that you're in a stand, it's time to play the waiting game. Now, take the shot. Good job. You got that deer good. Okay, we hit him. Now, get out of the stand and go find the blood trail. Right, so the shot itself wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. That's the first thing. That's my first impression. Mm -hmm. I need to feel that, that kick from the rifle, and I want to feel that bullet impact on the animal. It's giving me an option. I can either make Gizmo go after the trail, or I can follow it myself. Okay, oh. <laughs> that's not even a question. Go on, Gizmo. Go, go track him, little buddy. Right. Go. There it is. Oh. All you have to do Gizmo is found it. Bag it bring it on back to the cabin. Bag it, tag it, get back to the cabin. Good job, Gizmo. Right, I've got to, I've got to give him a pet. Good there we go. Job. Good boy. Let me do it again. There we go. My Gus is standing at a different set of tracks for some reason. <laughs> Your Gus is stupid. That's why he's not as good as Gizmo. <laughs> right, there he goes. He's going again. We got a white-tailed deer, male, mature, region of Europe, the Hargita County. The weapon was a Bar Zenith Wood HC. My distance was ninety-eight point six one four meters. What about you? Uh, male, age was young, Europe as well, same county, uh, same weapon, 107.782 yards. Damn, look at you getting over the 100 mark. Now, on the right-hand side, I don't have anything on the claim detail. I think maybe we have to bag it for that. So, yeah, I guess. there we go, I'm pressing bag. You can there we go. Your map if you're lost. So, when you, when you aim over the animal, it says you don't have a license for it. So uh, yeah. I don't know if you shoot it, you'll get like a, like a penalty or something. Yeah, or it doesn't let you fire at all. I'm not sure yet. That's interesting. I'm, yeah, the uh, whole licensing thing is gonna be gonna be all new to me because obviously we I've never really experienced having to do that before, like having to get the licenses and stuff. All you have to do is claim the animal. Yeah, it puts a different grind onto the game by having to make or make sure you buy the proper license or a multi license if they have them. You can either trade it in for cash or make a trophy out of it. The choice okay. is yours. So when you claim a bagged animal, you can trade it in for cash or you can make a trophy out of it, which is good to know. Look at this little cabin. Little menu system. Got some like pans and stuff. We've got a massive lighter there. <laughs> we got like a little locker. First aid. Couple of beds. Claim animals that you have bagged either for credits or as trophies, okay? So we can sell this or keep as trophy. So the weight is 116 pounds. Okay, so basically the way it works then is you bag the animal. And when you get back to the cabin, that's when you take down all the details of that specific animal. So 116 pounds. Size is 1.4 meters. Time taken 9.55. Score of 2.52. Credits 5.50. And it's showing the animal's prints as well. So let's... I'm just going to sell it. Yeah, see if we can get some credits. Yep. Today. I think you're ready for your first solo hunt. Okay. You can do it. Just believe in yourself and be patient. To the oh, I had no idea there was lodges. You can Ooh, set look up at that. For your hunts and purchase any gear or companions you may need for them. Head over to the computer. Okay. Oh, listen to this serene music. <laughs> I'm so calm right now. <laughs> right, we go, go computer. Store. So we've got licenses, which is... Oh, we get to see the animals. Okay, Bobcat. Duck, hare, goose, pheasant, rabbit, turkey. I know there's a lot of people going to be happy about that. Red fox, coyote, sheep, white-tailed deer, mule deer, boar, elk. Wait, elk? That definitely looks like a moose. Cougar, black bear, grizzly bear, and moose. Okay, there's there's a lot more animals than I thought. And there's a lot of predators in this game. Oh, it gives like a generic overview of the animal as well. So, appearance. Bobcats can be various shades of buff and brown. With dark brown or black stripes and spots on some parts of the body. Locations, diet, behavior. So, they're the licenses. Here's the weapons. Okay, what we got? 
X Bolt Composite SF Threaded Browning Rifle. 2000. This one is called a Bar Zenith. I think that's what we just took the shot with. That actually looks really nice. Can we rotate that? Wait, let's see. Examine. Oh, yeah, you can. You can straight up look at the actual weapon as well. Got some shotguns. G512M. A B725 Hunter Premium 20M. A Sagittaire, I think that says. Aquil Aquilon Classique. Oh my god, okay. Okay, modern sporting rifles. I had no idea these were even a thing. So, what is it then? What even, what caliber would this be? Rec 7 DI Black Cerakote. And it's made by Barrett. Weapon type is semi-automatic. Clip size is 30 and it's carbine configuration. You did tell me that you can use carbines for hunting. Or people do use them, so... I guess that's the proof. So you've got the uh, the black variant, the green variant, and the gray variant. I like all of them. Right, this is it. Wind powders. I thought this was super interesting. I think I remember something like this from the first game when we played it. So, base for anyone that doesn't know what this is, most of you will watch in this video. But if you squeeze these things, it basically gives you the direction of the wind. And it tells you there, wind powder can be sprayed into the air to show the direction that the wind is blowing. And you can have different potencies of these as well. So this one is 525. And it gives you a times 2. This one is 1300. Gives you a times 5. This one is a times 7. Oh, wolves! So maybe they plan to add wolves. Because it says it there in, on the Predator one. 510, 515. Scent killers. Okay, so this is just a masky scent. Again, different potencies. And scent lures. Whitetail, mule, roe. I didn't see roe on the thing. I, th I think they've been sneaky with this. There's going to be animals that we're not going to get to see today. Yep, wolf urine spray. Oh, look at... Oh, my God. Look at the fashion you can have in this game. <laughs> oh, my God. Wool chap fox hat. There's a lot of variety of stuff you can... Oh, I like that. That's me. That seeker jacket, olive green. That's me right. all day. I was just hovering over that thinking. Oh, oh this yeah, of is course so good. it was, Tango. You're just <laughs> copying my style. First, you want to call your dog Gizmo, then you want to take my clothing. All right, what else we got? <laughs> gloves. <laughs> okay, nice. Got some high color gloves if you want there. I wonder if you see them on holding the actual weapon as well. So you get to, yeah, you know, know, if you if you want to see the color of the gloves and stuff, if it's not distracting, and you can actually see them. The Cryptic Highlander. 600 can hold two items. That can hold two items too. So. 600 each. Do I want to take one of those? I might just take that uh, Cryptic Highlander SJK. I might buy that. Yeah. Buy. Just so I've got it. At least some kind of backpack. And then companions. There's loads of slots, Taco. I'm just saying. I see a little gizmo, though. Oh, yeah. It, oh, oh, next to the fire, you can put your companion. And he'll just sit there. And scratching himself and stuff. It's too good. Companion. Select. And then back out. Oh, his most just sat there. Oh, he's just itching. Dude, the best single best thing about this. I don't care what anybody says. People are probably watching this like, yeah, show us more about the mechanics of the game. Like, <laughs> I'm like, no, just let me play with the dog. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Oh, okay. Have you seen this wide open expanse of the Pawnee Meadows? It is. Look at that with the mountains in the background. Ooh. White fronted goose <laughs> i've spotted them i got an achievement oh no 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 gizmo no shh, shh, come here no no we're not going near those come back this way gizmo just went steaming in like he was just gonna go and start chewing them up <laughs> how do i uh oh there is a third person camera press b oh yeah look at that Ooh. look how majestic that is just walking through the wilderness right so we hold q and then we select Forge Binoculars. Let's see what we can see. Okay. So we're spotting things. I wonder if that's how you like gain XP in this game. Because that's usually the norm, isn't it? With hunting games. You spot stuff, you get intel on them, and then you level up from there. Oh, look at that reload animation. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. You coming, Gizmo? Yeah, he is. What's that? Oh, it's a fox. Oh, yeah. When you spook the animals, they stay spooked for a while. I like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, they don't like. Uh, I was watching the bighorn sheep that was walking with the one that I took down. Um, it turned around and ran. It just kept going. I was waiting for it to stop and turn around. Eventually, but no, it, uh, it stayed scared for quite a while. If you hit something, you don't really get any indicator that you've got a trail of anything on the floor unless you physically see it with your eyes, mm -hmm. like the actual stains from the animal. If you didn't have your dog, you would, you'd be looking for hours trying to find this stuff. <laughs> right, analyze what we got. Red fox. Okay, bright. Wait, I want to find the cougar though. Keep looking, Gizmo. Wait, should we, should we just track the fox then? I think he wants to. All right, oh. go get it. Uh, like mountain men that show mountain men where they, uh, they send, uh, their dogs after the, the, uh, the big cats and stuff to spook them off ranches. The cats just run oh. off and hide in the trees. Okay, I wanted to test what happens when you put two bullets into an animal. So I put the 223 into a cougar. I just got unethical hunting and I got a fine of 250. Ooh, that's a big fine too. Yeah, it punished yeah, the hell out of me. That bighorn sheep, I only got 240 in credits for, so yeah, it's a big fine. Let's bag it. It was a male, it was young, region is Colorado, Pawnee Meadows, and it was done with the uh, semi-automatic weight. Okay, we won't know that until we get it back. License complete, return to the cabin, claim your animals. Okay, no, we don't want to do that. What we get over here? What's all this business? Oh, cougar. So we do have cougars just generally around this area then. Have you found it, bud? You know what it is? Right, see? Go. Come on, let's keep tracking. Go, go, go. What'd you find, Gizmo? You fi oh, he found he found my fox from earlier. Oh, good boy. There you go. Let's bag this one. Male, young, Colorado, everything. Okay, so we'll we'll take a look at that when we get back. I'm interested to see the uh, the weight comparisons between the foxes. What the hell is that? It's nightmare fuel. Is it the cry of the bobcat? Cry of the bobcat, dude. I don't know where it is, though. I'm terrified now. Bobcat male. There we go. We hit him. He's gone. Right. Go on, Gizmo. Oh, yeah, you're right. The bobcat is really small. Male, adult. Okay, we don't get all the stats in it. Okay, I've got a good amount of stuff now. Bobcat license one. Right, do we go... Okay, I'm really tempted on just taking more shots, though. There's a fox over there. Windmill too. Right, I'm going to fast travel back to the cabin. Claim animals. Let's take a look. So, we got the cougar. It was 12 pounds. Size of 86 centimeters. Time taken, 9.43. Score of 32. Credits, 3,616. Wait, but didn't I get... I'm sure I got... Was it the cougar that... I got the fine for. I think it was. And we can scroll across with... Oh, that's the next one. Okay. Right, so I'm going to sell the cougar. Red Fox, 8.9 pounds, 39 centimeters. Okay, we're just going to sell this one too then. That's just a normal Red Fox. The Bobcat. Male, 7.7 .7 years. Oh, it does give like, gives like an accurate year as well, rather than just saying young or mature and stuff. So the cougar is definitely the best money maker so far. Right, so... How much did you get for it? Uh, it wasn't a lot. The cougar got me like 3,000 though. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, when you come back into the lodge, <laughs> as long as you've selected the companion on that, um, on that fur next to the fire, he's back there waiting for you when you come in as well. It's like we've just come... such a good boy. <laughs> he's the best boy. <laughs> best doggo. This is going to be a little more challenging because there's so many more trees and hills and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. That's... Wait, where's Gizmo? Oh, he's there. Oh. Did you hear the panic? <laughs> oh, no. I did. I thought he was gone. Fine. Wait, what is it you're finding? Oh, I've just told Gizmo to find something. I think he's just going to go around until he actually comes across like a track or something like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. So, so I you like can that. use it. Yeah, do a search. Yeah. Yeah. You could use it just to find anything if, you, if you've not come across something for a while. You do the good boy to him, and he's like, and I, my character is like, Good job. Like, real, <laughs> real condescending. It's just so sarcastic about Everybody it. Everybody yeah. does that, though. Everybody's got a dog voice, and you don't know where it comes from. It comes from the, in, the, the inner being of yourself. You don't know why it comes... <laughs> you don't know why you're saying it either, but you... Do, oh. Found something. Expertise increased. What have you found, bud? Analyze. Cougar droppings. Firm and dry. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
What are you doing? He just went for a little bath. I saw that then. He was looking at me to see if I'd get to see if I'd say anything. You having a little swim? Oh, you know what I'm gonna be doing in this game? I'm just gonna be talking to the dog for the majority of it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play this. What? what have you found? Gizmo's barking at something. What's Gizmo he barking is? At? What you can hear my I dog? Mean, gosh dang it, guesses. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my dog with you? Where's he gone? All I hear is Gizmo. Like you said, all you're doing is talking to your dog. So all I hear is it go yeah, Gus, Gus yeah, is barking yeah. at something. And it's a great name as well. I'm going to have to change his name to something <laughs> other than G. What are you barking at? Now you're walking the other way. Oh, my God. Gus? Oh, look at him. He's such a badass. Got my nice new coat, my new pants, my new hat. Oh, I don't know about you, Taco, but I'm looking the part. Definitely looking like a professional. I have a ponytail. Then you're looking like a professional. Then right. Get the hair out of my eyes. Okay, that's a bighorn sheep male. And it says wrong caliber, but oh, I spooked. I know that was super unethical hunting. But I just want to see the big horn sheep. <laughs> I haven't seen anything for like an hour on this reserve. But yeah, I absolutely agree. You get like stands or some kind of blind or something. I think it'll help out. Did he find it? Oh, he did. He found it. Good boy. All right. Let me give you one of those. Oh my god. Demon sheep. The way that thing's fallen over. Male. Mature. In the Roosevelt Forest. Distance of 211 meters. Wait, was that the shot or was that... Why I tracked it from. This animal cannot be bagged. It won't let you bag it because of the wrong caliber? I don't know. It just said this animal cannot be bagged. Hmm. I have no, no understanding on why it can't be bagged. That's strange. I think he's punishing me because I did use the wrong caliber. Which is fair. Right. Seeing as though we don't have a range finder. Let's just eyeball the hell out of this. So let's take a knee. Well, I think it's going down. There we go. I got fined, but I just want to see what the animal looks like because it's been so long. The comments are going to hate me. This is unethical hunting. How dare you? I know, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're going to lose our licenses. We know. Don't worry. I'm just trying to take a look at the animals so they don't just run off because they are super skittish. They'll just bail on you real fast. This definitely feels more like a hunting simulator, though, with that aspect that they're they're spooked so easily and the realism aspect. Yeah, I yeah. can. Uh, I'm totally getting that. You don't have the luxury of seeing them all attack. Well, at least on this reserve, you don't have the luxury of that. So, white tail, wrong caliber, but this is what you get: white tail deer, male, young, 123.981 meters, and this animal cannot be bagged. Okay, so I think it has something to do with caliber. Found an elk. Oh, I nailed it too. I was in third person just looking at my character's clothing. And I uh, <laughs> just ads and saw an elk off in the distance. <laughs> Come on, Gizmo. Let's go see what we found. I'm going to have fines out the ass at the end of this game. <laughs> I kind of like the aspect of it being third person though. I don't know. It's, it's just different. You're so yeah. used to playing these types of games in first person. Male, young, 129 meters. And this animal cannot be bagged. Well, you know what? Everybody likes a trier, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> right, so, seeing as though we've just done a little bit of a rotation around this map, give me your thoughts. Uh, I like this map better, to be honest. Uh, the other oh, one yeah. felt like it was holding your hand a little too much. This one, definitely more challenging, more uh, uh, hunting simulator-esque. Uh, There's definitely so a, a contrast yeah. between the two, isn't there? Yeah. I love a grind. I love a good grindy game. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the first map that we were on kind of gave us a taste of this is how you shoot the animals, this is how you recover them, and it's pretty straightforward because you can see for miles and miles. Then you step it up to a reserve like this, and it's not so easy. You've really got to be patient. Take your time. You know, every opportunity is an opportunity, and if you've got the caliber, take the shot. If not, you just got to wait. I like that, though. This seems, This feels much more... Of a serious nature, if that's, you know, something that you're into. The only downside, I will say, is this game badly needs multiplayer. It really, really needs it. It's been fun doing the side-by-side -side thing, but I think, like, just two or even groups of three or four hunting parties going out, looking around a reserve like this, it'd be insanely cool. Yeah, because you have your dog, and then you also, you could have a spotter, you know, helping yeah. 
glass area. Oh, you could have a few stuff. people just looking, you know, searching different areas and stuff. As always, though, guys, if you do want to see more of this, drop a like on the video. Let us know what you think about the game down in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you all in the next one.